Teresa, brand ambassador for Brother Home Sewing and Embroidery. And today I'm going to be showing you how to make a really cute pair of fleece pajama pants. You could also make them out of cotton or flannel or just about any material you like. And they feature a really cool design that I embroidered and I also used a little bit of an applique technique to apply it to the pants. And I did it all on my Brother Anobis 990D combination sewing and embroidery machine. It's really easy to do. I'm going to show you how to do it, so let's get started. First thing you're going to want to do is lay down your pattern on top of your fabric with the right sides together. I adjusted my pattern to fit my size and remembered to cut out the notches so it's easy to line up the different pieces. Then you're going to cut out all the pieces including the drawstring and remove your paper pattern. Next, you're going to mark out your buttonholes that your drawstrings are going to go through. Then you're going to fold each of your pant legs in half with the right sides together and pin them down along the inseam. Select a straight stitch on your machine and begin sewing down the inseam, taking time to remove the pins as you go along and you can feel free to slow down the speed to whichever way feels comfortable to you. Lay out your pieces with the sewn inseam and the next thing you want to do is put on your buttonhole presser foot. Then you're going to go ahead and select your buttonhole and start sewing your buttonholes in the location that you marked before, noting that they start in the front and sew towards the back. Use a hobby knife and a cutting mat to cut out your buttonholes. Once you've finished your buttonholes, you're going to go ahead and turn one of your pant legs right side out. Then you are going to insert that pant leg into the other pant leg and line up the seams at the crotch. You want to make sure that you get everything lined up really nice and straight and you can use those handy notches that you cut out as a guide. Be sure to start out in the center of the crotch making sure that your seams line up before you begin pinning. And then all you're going to do is pin along that seam where you're going to sew the crotch. Once you've got the whole crotch pinned, you're going to go ahead and sew a straight stitch along there using a seam allowance as noted on the pattern. In this case, we used about a 5 8 inch seam allowance. You're going to want to take your time and turn your machine to a slower speed as you sew along the crotch to make sure that your seams are open and everything is lying nice and flat. Once you've done that, you can lay out your pants and you're ready for the next step. Next, fold and pin down the waistband and also do the same on the hems at the bottom of the pants. At this point, I took off the larger area of my sewing machine and replaced it with the smaller little curved piece so I could get into the waistband easily. Start sewing along the waistband, taking care and remembering to backstitch as you get started at the, both the beginning and at the end of your sewing lines. To sew around the hems at the bottom of the pants, I removed the front piece from the machine so I could have a little more space to comfortably move around as I went. Then you're going to begin assembling your drawstrings. Fold them over right sides together, pin them, and start sewing them down the length. Sew one of the ends of the tubes shut and leave the other end open so that you're able to turn them right side out using an unsharpened pencil. Then you're ready for your elastic. Take a piece of elastic with a safety pin on each side using about one foot of elastic and run it through the tube of the waistband. 
Then you're going to use a couple of stitches at the back of the pants to secure that elastic in place so it doesn't shift around. Next you're going to use some pins to secure the loose ends of the elastic to the open ends of the tubes that you sewed before. I like to sew mine twice so that they stay really nice and secure. And now you've got your finished pair of pants. But the fun is just beginning. Now we're going to start doing machine embroidery. All you're going to do is turn off your machine and replace the front piece with the embroidery unit which snaps on really easily. There are so many great designs to choose from on iBroidery.com. Save the designs that you order on iBroidery.com onto a USB which goes right into your machine and then you're going to change out the presser foot to the embroidery foot. Be ready with all the colors of thread specified for your design and be sure to have some tear away stabilizer as well. Cut a piece of fleece and stabilizer to fit your hoop and insert them into the hoop as specified in the manual. Now you're ready to begin doing your machine embroidery. Locate your design on the screen and choose it by touching the touch screen. The machine is very handy. It tells you which color to load first. I started with white and now you can see I've already moved on to using the light blue and as we go along it just tells you to change out your colors and it works really really well. And you're just going to continue along putting the finishing touches onto the Tinkerbell and it's coming out really really cute. And when you're all done, the machine tells you that you are finished sewing. Next, I'm going to select a round frame and stitch that around my Tinkerbell. And this is how we begin the applique process. This is basically a guideline so I know where to cut out that piece of applique. Next, I'm going to set up the hoop onto my pants directly, remembering to use a piece of stabilizer. And I'm going to stitch the exact same circle in the exact same place on my pants, which that is going to serve as a guide to know where to put my Tinkerbell. Next, you're going to clean up your Tinkerbell using a seam ripper and some small scissors to get rid of all of the excess threads. And then we're going to cut along the just around the outside of that line and apply a little dry fabric adhesive in the center. Then you're going to position that applique directly on top of the circle that you just sewed. Now I'm going to select the same size circle frame but with a thicker stitch pattern. And I'm going to stitch the applique onto the pants. Then you're going to simply remove your stabilizer and add a touch of bling with a heat setting tool and there you have it. You have your own custom Tinkerbell pajama pants.